loves, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, in honor of Valentine's Day, I'm gonna tell you everything that an inmate is able to send home as a gift to their loved one for holidays, special occasions, and in this instance, Valentine's Day. I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting next to me that Adam has sent me throughout the years for Valentine's Days specifically. So if you're interested in how inmates get really, really creative and resourceful inside of prison with their limited options and resources, send really sweet gifts home. Please keep watching. my god you guys i just sat down to make this video and adam made me cry good tears of course so in honor of valentine's day and love i will explain to you what just happened really really quick he sent me updates for his clemency package today and it's everything that he's done and accomplished inside of prison since we submitted his original clemency package to president obama in 2016 and it was just lists and lists and lists of amazing things that people out here might not have been able to accomplish but he was able to do it on the inside and one that really stood out to me was that there was a need for people who be on suicide duty like they go and they sit up with people, could be in the middle of the night who are on suicide watch and talk to them and talk through it with them and offer support from a peer level because there was just a need for it and he applied for it, which I thought was the sweetest. My message back to him, I'll read it to you guys really quick, was, I wish you could see my smile right now and how proud I am of you and everything you've been able to accomplish while in there. I am so in awe of you, so in love with you and truly honored to be your partner in life. You make me wanna be the best version of me because you're always the best version of you. Your number one fan, always. And then I said, curious what the attorney says about it. And then I talked a little bit more about my day. It's nothing really very important. And then I said, back with more love later, just leaving work for the weekend. I love you so much proud wifey. And then he responds and he says, I wish you could see my smile right now with an old school smiley face emoji with the colon and the half a parenthesis because we don't have emote icons or whatever those things are called. We can't send those. If I accidentally put that in there, the email will never get to him through core links. There's something for you guys to know. He said, honestly, I never knew what love was until it was me and you. Whew. You bring out the very best in me and inspire me to do and become more than I ever thought myself capable. Thank you, beautiful. I love you. I'll be back in a few with lots more love. Just need to finish this long overdue email reply to my mom. Okay, maybe I should not have read that prior to making this video. Oh my God, he completes me. It was cute. The other day, somebody, I had a call and she was like, I love watching the videos with you and Adam because you're like this boss babe, this like very confident energy when you're doing your other videos. But then it's a really sweet side of you when you're on the phone with him. And I'm like, now I have to go back and watch my videos because I didn't even know that. She says I have this special laugh for him. I'm like, oh, this is the cutest thing ever. Maybe I'm starting to be a baby girl. Oh, yeah, that email was really baby girl, huh? But he, he needs some baby every once in a while. I'm proud of him. Okay, so... I don't know how much of that I'm gonna put in there because I just babbled for five minutes. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ro. I am the author of a book called The Comeback Code, the founder of a nonprofit organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, and I have been coaching prison wives and family members while sharing my own personal story, struggles, and triumphs since 2009. We don't glorify or glamorize prison wife life here or prison life here, but I will show you how to make the best out of it while you are trying to find the silver lining in this one shot deal. So if you want to see more of this pretty little face, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and especially the days in between. Sometimes I do lives and I don't want you to miss those because you get to interact with me in person, in the moment, real time, in the flesh, not really behind a camera and a phone. You know what I mean, but I don't really schedule those. So if you wanna be able to interact with me one-on-one, -on -one, well, one on like 100 or something, then make sure that you ring that bell and click all. Lastly, please give this video a thumbs up. It's just an easy way that you could help me out and get YouTube to share this video with people who need it because one in every four women and one in every eight men is directly affected 
by incarceration in the United States. That is a lot of people who need my love and support. So I would be eternally grateful if you just hit the thumbs up button. Okay, Whew, wasting lots of time on today's video. And I'm like 7 million degrees right now. But I just can't take it off. I look so cute. Did I just spit all over the place? I keep all of my boxes of stuff that I get from Adam. I save everything. I'm one of those pack rats underneath my bed. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through this mess that I call my life. Bins and bins of stuff that I keep under my bed. I'm so sorry about the lighting in here, but... <laughs> I don't know how old this little toilet paper. It's not toilet paper, but it's a ro prison rose. And then this is, I'm just going to show you a little bit of it. We're going to save that one for last because it's amazing. And then I'll show you what's going on down here. And what's interesting is as I was going through the boxes, I went from most recent to the earliest to the originals. So the most recent is just like this big mess of a box, things thrown all over the place. The middle box is this, like it's a zip up wrap around plastic thing, a huge under the bed slide. Like usually people put sweaters or boots in there over the winter and they just slide it under the bed. Well, this is just not as much of a mess. It's like halfway organized, halfway not. And I couldn't find all of these things that I was looking for. Oh, this is hot. Yeah. Do you think she has a crazy head of hair? <laughs> yeah, it's stuck in there. I got my mane. Romaine. <laughs> okay, ignore me. I'm so cheesy. I couldn't find any of these early on gifts that I was looking for, the ones that Adam was talking about, his favorite gift that he gave to me on Christmas. And finally, I was putting that other box away because I was prepping for another call before this. I went to go push that other box under my bed and I saw a really large cardboard box. It was probably a pair of boots came in there because it was pretty big, like probably a pair of over the knee boots because you know, jurors. And it was that size, it was huge. And I was like, oh, I forgot that I had other stuff. That box was like organized to a T by date. You could just tell that's when I was early on, fresh at this, organized every little thing. There's actually the very, very, very first gift that Adam gave me is in there. And I'll see if I can get a screenshot. I'm not gonna pull it out because it was a sunflower, a real sunflower, and I saved it. I dried it out and I saved it. But at this point, we're going on a decade later, so it's all like falling apart and crusty and probably moldy, to be honest with you guys. So I don't wanna pull that out and get all that all over the place. So that was the first gift that I ever got from Adam. And I had a very dear friend whose boyfriend was locked up with him and she was the one, they coordinated it, and she was the one that was able to send me that flower. So these are just ways for people that don't have someone who's incarcerated or if you're early into your sentence or if you, even if you're not early but you need some ideas, this is how we get these gifts to us because on the inside they're very limited as to what they can send. They could do homemade cards, they could pay people to make cards and, and we'll go through that. They can and get stuff made in there if they have things like a wood shop or any kind of trades, skills, shops in there, they can get stuff made. So here is my very first homemade jail card and it says my one and only 5810. So maybe it wasn't my very first homemade jail card, but this held up pretty good for being from 2010, 10 years ago. And then here's another one. So he paid probably, I don't know, five dollars and then this one is actually valentine's day i'm not much of a fan of prison art and never bought this stuff for anyone in the past but i wanted to get you something and to be honest i am not sure if i could have done as good a job myself with either drawing unfortunately my favorite savant was booked solid straight through until next year so i'm considering having one of those bentley originals his middle name is bentley i'm dying of heat right now Commissed for next year. It might actually take me all year to tackle a project like that. Most importantly, I just wanted you to know that there is no one I'd rather spend the day with than you. And not just on Valentine's Day, but every day. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Love always, Adam. They also sell, picture a dollar store card, but worse, cards on the commissary. This was $3, I guess, in the commissary. I don't know how much, if that's like just United States price or if that's commissary price. But it just says, I love you. To 
the most beautiful woman I know. Not a day goes by that I'm not reminded how incredibly fortunate I am to have you in my life. I thought I knew what love was before I met you, but I really didn't have a clue. You constantly affirm your love and appreciation for me, making me feel like the most valued and luckiest man alive. I can't wait for the day when I can begin to show you how much you mean to me, beginning the very moment you open your eyes. All I want to do is make you smile, and I intend to spend the rest of my life discovering all the myriad ways to do that. You will always be my Valentine. I love you, Adam. I can like rent him out for people's boyfriends and husbands who need somebody to write cards because clearly he is fantastic at it. Here's some more gel art. It just says Roseanne on the front, my name. And then happy Valentine's Day, Roseanne. This says Adam and Ro. Make a wish come true. And then candy hearts and chocolate kisses or flowers would be just fine. But most of all today, my wish is just to be your Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day. So they probably took, can you see that? They probably just cut that off of a different greeting card that somebody had gotten and kept. I promise there's not too much of this gel art. I'm looking like I have some nice blush on, but that I'm like a thousand degrees under these lights in this heavy jacket. This is the one I've been waiting for. Okay. Oh. The glue disintegrated. It's been a decade. We have a wardrobe and a hair change, and I wish I could say it was because I was being all cute and YouTube-y, but I am not. I filmed the rest of this video and a whole separate video and went to go edit, and my microphone died in the middle of this. Shouldn't there be some sort of notification on your camera when your microphone dies? Now I'm like all nervous. So far, so good. Let's not waste time. Okay, this allowed me to also find a couple of other gifts that I got from Adam. So, when my microphone died, I was showing you guys this song that I got from Adam for Christmas that he talked about on a video that we did around Christmas time. It was his favorite Christmas of his whole entire life, and it happened inside of jail. And that's when he tried to call and sing me this song. Unfortunately, it did not work out as planned, and he was super disappointed. I will link the video up there so you guys can watch it. But this is what he was talking about, and I was saying, I wish I could find that. I wish I could find a picture of it. And I did finally go through my stuff and I found it. So I'll read it to you. It's called Unchained Heart and it says, I've been gone for way too long, lonely prisoner all my life. Last chance to get it right. Broke all my rules for love's last chance. How you even make me fall in love so deep. How you ever make me fall? How you even make me fall in love so deep, I think, so fast. Your love has made me strong and helped me carry on. Put a smile on my face that time cannot erase. So here we are, baby. It's not so far. Just close your eyes real tight. I'll be with you tonight. And obviously that's going to sound much better sang to a melody or a tune, but I couldn't get to hear it. And you'll see why in that video. I also had an opportunity to find this other gel art that he gave me. This was actually for Christmas one year, but I think this is probably my favorite piece of gel art that I ever received because those puppies actually look like the two of us. I know that's going to sound crazy, but look at the eyes. Look at his eyes and his forehead and his mouth, and then look at my eyes and the ears with like the hair and the shape of the eyes. I think it must have been that the artist took a picture of the two of us and made those little puppy love puppies. So I love that one. That's one of my favorites. And I know this is a Valentine's Day video, but here's a Valentine's one that I got. It has like this, I guess they painted it around the edges. It felt like tape, but it's definitely paint. It's glitter paint. And then it says Roseanne and it says Happy Valentine's Day. He obviously paid an artist to do this. I don't know how much these cost. I want to say around $25. But next time he calls, I will ask him for anybody that's done time. If you know, how much do these types of things cost inside of prison? I'm going to say like the cards on card paper or regular paper that they make into card stock by piecing it together, probably around $5. And these I'm going to say are around $25 or I don't know how many stamps or whatnot, but I'll ask him. But if you guys know, post in the comments below. The next thing I got, I always joke with you guys about getting toilet paper roses. This is not made out of toilet paper, but it's a rose that he sent me one time. This down at the bottom feels like tape maybe and I don't know what this is. This is something it feels like it's plastic that's been painted but I don't know what this plastic is. So if you've done time yourself if you know what that would have been made out of let me know. If not I'm gonna have to ask Adam but it's a really 
sweet gesture. It's funny that, you know, this is something that you'd make in like arts and crafts in elementary school, but as prison wives, we hold onto these things so tight because it's just a little something from them. The next thing I got was something that he found inspiration for in the back of National Geographic. It was an ad in the back of the magazine. So that's something that inmates will do. They get, I guess, they see ads either as commercials on TV or through magazines and the newspaper, or if they get flyers or stuff on the inside or if somebody posts something on the billboards. But for outside stuff, they see it on TV or in magazines. So I told him a story one time very early on. He asked me my favorite piece of jewelry and I explained to him that I love lockets because my mom always wore, as, as early as I can remember, she wore this beautiful heart locket and it was a locket that my father gave her. I think it was the very first piece of jewelry that he ever gave her. And when you opened the locket, there was a picture of my dad on one side and my mom on the other side. And when I was a really little girl, I asked her, why don't you have a picture of the two of you guys together? Why are you on separate sides? And when I got older, she told me it's just because she didn't have a picture small enough to fit in there. But he, when I was a little girl, she thought really fast and she told me because if we're each on one side, when I close the locket, we're always kissing. And I always, always loved that. And in fact, when my mom passed away and she was giving her jewelry away, I asked if she would give me that locket. And I have that locket, I should wear it more often. Anyway, he sent me, it's an amber locket. Let's see if I can open it up for you guys. It does have Adam's picture in there. I was on the other side, but I fell out. So I did that on purpose. So when you closed it, we were kissing, but I'm not in there anymore. So it's the Adam locket. I love this. I've worn it to visit a lot. He wound up sending his mother the money for this out of his books and then she was able to play elf. I always call it because Clausen, Claus, Christmas, Santa, elves. And so I always thank her every year that she sends me something every time. She's so, so sweet and she really does a great job and I'll always call or I'll text her and I will say thank you for playing elf for us. With the card that Valentine's Day, he added that Amber is supposed to signify protection. So he said in that card, I wish I could find it, but I didn't have time to go through all of my old cards. He said, because I can't be there and put my arms around you and protect you all the time, put this around your neck and that'll be like my arms hugging you and I, I will always be there protecting you. And I thought that was so sweet. The following year for Valentine's Day, again, he got me the matching earrings. The matching amber earrings that go with that set. To be honest with you guys, I don't know that I've ever worn them all together, but I have worn them separately for sure. Okay, so the final and favorite gift that Adam has ever sent me is something that was made in the leather shop. So I said earlier, they can send you stuff if there's any kind of vocational skill shops. In the prison, there's a lot of places that have ceramic shops, they have leather shops, they have some sort of sewing shop. There's a wood shop. At the prison where Adam is, a few years ago when he was really, really involved in life coaching, one of the guys that he got very close with that he was coaching, got him into the programs, got him on the right track. He worked in the leather shop. He was very, very good at it. He told Adam, you have to make your girl a bag. A lot of guys would have their girlfriends send in a picture of a designer bag that they wanted and the guys in the leather shop were really, really good and they would replicate it. So Adam said, no, he doesn't like to owe people anything. He's not like that at all. It's a jail thing, it's a prison quirk. And the guy insisted, you have to make her a bag, have her send you a picture. And he said, well, if I make her a bag, then I want it to be an original. He's not into designer knockoffs. Your girl does dupes for everything, but he wants it to be a one of a kind. Not only did this guy insist that he made me a bag out of the leather shop, the next time they got in a nice piece of leather, the guy put aside the best part of the hide for Adam. Sorry, my vegans out there. But for my birthday, I think, or Valentine's Day, I think it was my birthday that year, I got this gorgeous, oh, I'm obsessed, this bag. The stitching, the detailing on there, look at the hardware. This is all hand stitched. So Adam started the bag, he did some of the stitching, but the guy in the leather shop who's very, very talented really did a lot of it, he said. It's just, the stitching goes around the inside. It's gorgeous, it goes on, goes on my arm like this. 
I am obsessed with this. So that's another way that you can, Adam's working in the wood shop right now. He made some really amazing toys for kids in need for toys for tots. I think for Christmas, he volunteered in the wood shop. He's a very talented carpenter. He actually learned carpentry in New Jersey State Prison when he was there when he was 18 years old and made a crib actually for a family member who was having a baby and was in a poverty type of situation. And his mother told me, Adam never told me this, his mother told me this. And she said it was one of the most beautiful, intricately made cribs she'd ever seen. He's also in the process of working in the ceramics shop, making me a mug and he's making himself. He's making us matching mugs. And mine is going to have a picture of a picture that I sent to him years ago when I very first learned how to do a one-arm handstand. I made kind of a meme out of it and it said head over heels for you or head over heels in love with you, something like that. And it had the Strong Prison Wives and Families logo on it. So he's in the process of, I don't know how they get it on there, but getting it on there and finishing it and sending it to me, I'm assuming it's gonna be for Valentine's Day this year. And I kind of feel like I'm at a loss as to what to send him. Where he is right now, and this is not across the feds. This is facility specific. So please know that. They stop the mail. He can't get books. He can't get magazines. He can't get any pictures. He can't get any cards. So I'm at a loss as to what I can send him. What I decided I think I want to do for him this year is write him an old fashioned love letter. And I'm going to start that letter with a story that happened to me many years ago when I was hanging out with my best friend from childhood, who I hope you guys will meet soon. And she was renting a house at that point. And I went over and we were hanging out and we drank a little bit of wine. And somehow we managed to find this trap door in the garage. And so we're like, we're going up there. And her husband was like, you two idiots, please be careful. And somehow we crawled our way up into the ceiling of the garage and it opened up into this attic. And inside of this attic was all of this really cool antique, but like genuinely vintage stuff from I guess there were generations upon generations upon generations that had lived in this house. And so we found this really old antique vintage sewing machine. We found a couple of other really cool things. And in there, we also found like this bag of letters that were, it was beautiful and it was like pure gold, obviously not gold, but it was letters that a couple had written back and forth, I think from World War II. And we just sat there for hours and we poured over these letters and we learned this couple's love story. And it was so beautiful because it's all there was available to them back then. There were no phones, there was no email, there was nothing like that in the World War II era. I mean, I guess there were phones, but not when they were overseas fighting at war. So I'm gonna tell him that little story and, and say considering everything else has been stripped away from us and this couple had the same thing and it was their just pure genuine beautiful love for one another pen to paper oh it's just so beautiful that's what I want to do for him there is just so much beauty and such a lost art to a good old-fashioned love letter and if anybody knows how to write one it's somebody in prison or his wife. So I would love to know in the comments below, either if you have somebody who's incarcerated, your favorite gift that you've ever gotten from them, or if you don't have somebody who's incarcerated, your favorite gift that you got from your significant other, a significant other of the past, or the favorite of all of the stuff that Adam has ever sent me for Valentine's Day. All of my love to all of you. Happy Valentine's Day. Whether you're single or in a relationship, it doesn't matter. Today is all about love. So I want you to give yourself some self-love, be easy on yourself, be kind to yourself, and know that I love you so much with all of my heart, each and every one of you. And I mean that very genuinely. Keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being over. Lots of love from my heart and Adam's heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys. I am boiling, boiling. But like, is this not the cutest?